guys, we out here today. Got a brand new lease we, we got in with some friends this year. And uh, mapping things out a little bit using our Onyx app on our phone. The ability to, to be able to see a location where you're at and map all the roads out, map all the green fields out, and mark your cameras where you got them, especially when you learn a new piece of property because you know just as well as I do how hard it is, or excuse me, how easy it is to lose something like that. All right, there's our next location. Let's go to it. Yeah, guys, like you said, what we're doing, we're going to be out here mapping the property out because come deer season, you often these haulers or anything, if you get these roads mapped out, man, it'll give you the easiest location to get back from point A to point B, and especially during turkey season when you got one of them gobblers out there gobbling and you just pull this app up on your phone and you sit here and you can tell what field that gobbler's in or what road he's headed toward. Hopefully it's gonna make things a lot easier. Um, we're really excited about this new lease down here. And um, like he said, we're gonna be running these roads. We're gonna be mapping this place out and it's not gonna be much of a video, but we're gonna to try to do a little something. Uh, we're having to film this off one of our waterproof cameras today. It's rainy out here, but uh, we wanted to get out and do something today instead of being uh, sitting at the house. And we're just thankful not to be out working today. So. Uh, Let's see if we can uh, get out here and find uh, find some good hunting spots. And uh, like I said, excited to get this taken care of. Broom. thousand pictures. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we thought this was gonna be a good spot. We put a camera out as soon as we uh got in this lease. Just a little remote trail coming down through the woods and just a little small clearing here. But on this little small clearing, we got some deer trails that zigzag over across the top of it. And we were trying to look at the spot maybe for setting up for bow season. Not any uh, food sources here other than natural browse on the ground. But we can buy a corn permit nowadays. But yeah, <laughs> but here in Alabama, we can buy a corn permit. So. <laughs> Makes you feel good when you check a camera's got 2,000 pictures on it. Yeah. How long has it been out? Not about, not a month. about a month. But yeah, we do got several good trees here, even though it's pine trees. So we're going to keep on mapping. Yeah. 
Guys, that's a cotton mouth. And we don't need that here on the lease with kids running around. See him looking fangs. See him looking biting. Let's stick here. Look at there. Look at there, guys. See them fangs? See that white mouth? Mm hmm. That's why they call that a cotton mouth. Laying right here in this mud hole. He ain't no more. Look at him. Guys, if you ever take the head off a snake, look at it. It'll still bite you. Do not pick that up with your hands because this snake, a snake could stay alive for hours. Take and dig a hole somewhere and dispose of that head. If you don't, you're gonna get hurt. Those are bad boys right there. They will put you in the hospital. And I don't have my snake boots on today. Chris has got his on. So you get hit by that right there, $150 pair of boots will keep you from spending about $75 to $100,000 at the doctor. Mm. I'm going to dig a hole over here and get rid of that head. Still trying to buy it. No head. They'll do that for hours. Weird, ain't it? Yep. Well, guys, like you can see, it's a pouring down out here. And we still got several roads to map. Good thing we got a roof over our head, but uh, what we're probably going to do is. Uh, Chris is going to show you some photos and stuff of our how the Onyx kind of works a little bit. And I encourage you guys, if uh, you never tried it, to give it a shot. There's a couple other options out there for uh, mapping systems, but we found that we believe Onyx is probably the, the best that's out there. Um, like I said, a good thing is you can map all of your hunting surroundings. That way it makes it for easy access. You can mark your green fields, tree stands. Deer trails, food plots, feeders. It's got all kinds of a, a different little gadgets on there that you can do all kinds of things with. But uh, we're fixing to get back at it. And uh, like I said, I know this was a short video, but just want to kind of give you guys a little heads up for kind of what's been going on. And uh, we look forward to some, some great videos coming out here soon. And uh, look forward to killing some good quality deer here on this property i hope we uh we are really uh looking forward to the next seasons and seasons beyond this one heavy precipitation has been detected in our location <laughs> duh <laughs> uh, technology these days something else um uh, but yeah, big shout out to Onyx. They uh they get they got a great product, and we're looking forward to uh 
using it on a regular basis and we encourage you guys to use it too um, be sure you go to the app store you can you can download their app there and uh check it out and see what you think about it um as far as back to a little bit ago the the snake i'm not a big believer in killing snakes because they do do some very good uh give you some very good services they they are a good part of the ecosystem but Depends on the situation and where you at. Now, if you got there, whether a poisonous snake that's going to be around where you have kids, your wives, husbands, whatever, young people, people play in people, you know, we're here at a hunting camp, so we can't have a cotton mouth hanging around a water hole or a mud hole where our friends is going to be at because they may not be as aware of a situation like that like we were. But, uh, as always, guys, we appreciate y'all watching. And uh, on this rainy day, hope all of you safe out there. And God bless.